Now, what happens if a fighter jet manufacturer tries building a passenger jet aircraft? Well, this is what happens. Yes, this is the Sukhoi Superjet. You know, I have already talked about this before. You know, kind of scratched the surface. Now, the Sukhoi Superjet is a Russian aircraft made by the aircraft manufacturer, Sukhoi, which prior to this aircraft only focused on fighter jet planes. Now, this plane has been in the news quite a lot, especially because it had some crashes and emergency landings. In fact, it has a very bad safety rating. Now, this this plane came out in 2011, even though it had its first flight in 2008, but it entered airline service in 2011 with Armavia or a Aviar, whatever it is. Now, that was an Armenian airline, which went out of business in 2013. Maybe because of this plane, <laughs> who knows. Now, even though this plane came out in 2011, this plane's design is quite old. Yeah, maybe the fuselage is okay design-wise, but, but as you can see, the wings don't really feature any fancy wingtip designs, like any winglets or anything like that. No, these are just really, really flat wings. I can imagine that this plane is not very fuel efficient. Also, these engines do not look very modern. They remind me of the old 737 engines, you know. Now, these are quite thin. We also don't have any fancy chevron nozzles or anything like that. Now, this plane does feature quite an old design. But overall, this plane does kind of look like the Airbus A220 or C-Series, whatever you want to call it. Especially the nose looks like the C-Series. It is definitely kind of a copied design. Could be a Chinese plane as well. Now, yes, the cockpit also pretty much stolen. Looks like an Embraer plane with the only difference being this side stick. Yeah, you can say that the designers of this plane kind of had some inspiration, you know. But that does not matter, right? The most important thing is obviously that this plane flies, which it does. Now, talking about flying, let's try that part. All right, let's go. Rotate. It was okay. We are actually flying. That's good. Now, how is this plane doing? Is it a success in aviation? And no, it's not. De definitely not. Only 172 of these aircraft have been built. You know, when you compare that to planes like the 737... Okay, that's kind of an unfair comparison, but anyway. This plane is definitely not a bestseller. But there are some reasons for this plane not selling. Now, the thing is, most of the airlines using this plane are Russian. And that is for a simple reason. It can be hard to operate Russian planes outside of Russia because... Because if a replacement part is not needed, there can be long waiting times for countries out of the Russian region. Now, that problem alone, paired with some reliability problems that this plane had in the past, uh, doesn't shine a bright light on this plane, definitely. Now, let's go ahead and land it. Now, the thing is, you have to approach at a higher speed with this plane. It doesn't really fly well in low speed. <laughs> so, yes, reliability of this plane is pretty bad. Also, in general, the safety rating of this plane is very, very bad. You know, you almost see an emergency landing every single day on flight radar with this plane. Even though there are planes that are worse than this one, this plane is not that much of a plane that I would feel comfortable flying in. The landing is a bit special. Okay, this was definitely not a good landing. We were pretty late as well. This was more of a midfield landing, but it was fine. Smoothness-wise, right? We buttered. Now, to be honest, I kind of do like this plane. In general, I really enjoy flying these regional jet airliners in X-Plane in the flight simulator. You know, just flying around. And this plane, again, really, really reminds me of the C-Series, which is definitely also a great plane. But yeah, Sukhoi did kind of mess up making this jet, right? Now, the main user of this plane is Eric. Fly. They have also had a crash before where a lightning hit the aircraft and destroyed the electronics, which led to a very, very messed up landing of the plane. Something I cannot really tell you anything about is the passenger comfort. I don't know if this is a comfortable plane to fly. It looks all right, you know? And we have some very weird people drawn into the cabin. I guess that's what people look like in Russia, right? But yeah, it's kind of up to you whether you want to be flying on this plane with Aeroflot. Lot. I'm pretty sure that you can see the super jet flying around in Europe as well. So yeah, you can for sure kind of try the plane out, right? You can just fly it. But as an airline, I would 
probably not purchase the plane, even though you can save some money, you know, when you buy Russian planes. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.